Okay, so today we got a uh, blower motor replacement on a train rooftop unit. Uh, here's the old motor. Uh, when it comes to wiring in three-phase blower motors uh, for this particular train model, um, you got to make sure you have uh, you take a picture of the wires um, and where they went on the old motor, um, like L1, L2, and L3. But then it's also important to know about these plugs if you don't know about them already. Um, these plugs are what tell the motor what type of voltage you're uh, getting. Uh, this one's a little stubborn to get out. But uh, this one has a little arrow on it that uh, has that will point to what voltage you're getting. So you can see that there's a 230V and a 460V. Um, and on the plug, you got a little arrow. And if you rotate it, you got another little arrow. Um, but if you have it in like so, it's pointing to the 460. If you have, uh, I'm sorry, that's 230. If you have it's wired, if it's wired for 230, it's going to be pointing to 230. And then if you were to rotate it again and move it up a slot then it's pointed to 460. This new motor is a little different. It's got a high a high voltage um, side of the plug and a low voltage side of the plug. So then you gotta look on your schematic and see what type of, and your data plate, see what type of voltage we're getting. This motor's low voltage would be 208 or 240, um, and the high voltage would be 460 not 24 volts for low voltage for a three-phase motor that's just that just wouldn't work um, I know sometimes uh, guys just think low voltage is control voltage but it's also whatever the lowest uh, voltage input will be, is for that motor so on this one you'll see that this plug um, has a little cover cap so uh, in this case because we're using uh, 230 voltage we're going to rotate it so the cover is up so when we stick it on it covers the high voltage part and it leaves the lower voltage exposed um, and that's just a, a quick little video on making sure your three-phase motor is uh, wired properly.